First and foremost, the Senate grilled Janet Yellen, the next Treasury Secretary. And to stick with the football analogy, she's Tom Brady. Although I may be the first person to draw that parallel. What else can I say? I had no worries about yelling in front of the Senate. She was so sure-handed. Over and over again, she made the case for full employment agenda to help people who don't have jobs and need to put food on the table. That means Yellen wants to spend a lot of money. Now, normally that kind of thing would have left her open to a Republican blitz, but she released her answer so quickly that there wasn't a single sack or even a hurry. With Jerome Powell at the Federal Reserve, is he Aaron Rodgers now that Drew Breach can't, slow deep, can't throw deep and maybe retiring? Yeah, he's Rodgers. Um, and, and yelling at Treasury, we could be looking at years of low interest rates and generous government spending, which is fabulous for the stock market. I think a lot of investors spend too much time focusing on Washington, but policy does matter. When Yellen says we need to act big, she's talking about acting big to create more jobs. And that's what the $1.9 trillion stimulus package is all about. I know some skeptics think that Democrats just want to give a handout to people who don't want to work. But this is America. People want to work. States want to pay. If Congress doubles the minimum wage like Biden's proposing, I, I bet people want to work even more. The truth is we've got 7% unemployment in this economy, and that needs a shot in the arm. That's too high. So when I hear uh, Yellen talking about big, it makes me feel like the Bulls have a home field advantage with Yellen at the helm, just like the Bucks had an advantage with Tom Brady. Bulls are by three, or non-gambling speak, the Bulls are so powerful that you have to spot them at least three points to make it even. Now let's take the line even further. When the economy gets a shot in the arm, people with money are more likely to start new businesses or invest in the stock market. One's good for the economy, one's just okay. We know there's lots of index money. 50% of stocks are owned by funds that track indices. Uh, so if you're an index fund investor, you're taking the line up for the bulls. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.